Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing really good. Welcome back to everybody who's coming back and welcome to anyone who's new. My name is Elodie, like Elodie without the M from Elodie Scrafts and Creations. Today I want to talk to you about a very special project of mine. I have men mentioned it, I think, in one of my previous videos. Um, I have this project, um, like on the side, which is to open La Ressourcerie Créative de Lyon. I wrote it down here, so it's French, of course, so it's all written in French. And if you like to follow us on social media, uh, sadly, everything's going to be <laughs> written in French, but thank God for automatic translation, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you really quickly about this project. Uh, it's an innovative project currently cre in creation, like uh, we've just found a place where we can set up and we're going to launch, um, uh, what's it called, a a crowdfunding pretty soon. So actually this is going to be something I'm going to make uh, in exchange for donations. Uh, Contrepartie, I'm not sure how it's called in English. I should, I should check. And, and I'm going to talk to you about this very soon. So the goal of my project is actually to reduce waste in Lyon and in France and well in the world if we can and actually change current consumption trends such as fast fashion. I mean, we've all heard about it probably if you watch a documentary, but these trends are everywhere. We have so much stuff that is really bad quality and you buy it and then you have to throw it away like two weeks later because it's just not working. And it's it's just trying to make you consume more, to make you pay more, and it's just really annoying. So much waste and that's what we want to do. Uh, so we want to talk about people and promote the purchase of second-hand items and materials and like lending, sharing between people, uh, stuff like this. Uh, so the, the place, picture this, there would be a very chic second-hand shop here. And then over here we'll have a little space to receive donations, like items that you guys don't use at home anymore and you don't want to, I mean, it's just taking up space, so might as well just give it to an interesting project like ours. <laughs> and then there will be a permanent space dedicated to participatory creation of cycling and repair workshops somewhere where you can just come and just repair whatever you have at home or part, uh, like you can ask us to organize some repair workshops uh, with some people that actually know what they're doing and learn with other people how to repair your coffee machine or how to repair buttons on your blouse or something like this. And it's not just repairing, it's also creating. And by this, I mean like <laughs> junk journaling, scrapbooking and upcycling, pretty much anything. We're gonna have little space so we won't be able to talk uh, wood and um, furniture. It's not gonna be able, it's not gonna be possible, it's just too small. Uh, and we also want to have a little rental service for objects that we use very occasionally, such as like the drill or champagne flutes or like wedding cutlery or stuff like this that you use like once in a lifetime or once a year and the rest of the time is just getting the dust in your cupboards and you know it could be used by someone else at that time and then you use it when you need it you know sharing <laughs> um so with this shop that is very clean and tidy a bit like the up stores i've seen in England and Australia and Canada also. In France we don't really have that, so it will be pretty new. And we want to reach an uninformed public, like people who give but they don't buy there. And that's the people that we really want to touch and we want to rehabilitate repair tendencies and the purchase of secondhand items, because especially in French culture and probably a lot of different cultures around the world, 
when it's broken you just you just put it in the bin and you just buy a new one and you don't buy second hand like many people just don't like it um they think it's not nice it makes it's cheap or i don't know and that's something we really want to address because it's not true like second hand items are usually items that have already lived a while they've already been washed several times and you know they've they've kept their shape and the the color is there and everything is fine so it's actually really good quality items that are usually in second second hand stores so that's really something we want to talk about and we also want and i'm almost finished uh, to be a place of life in the neighborhood we want to organize lots of events and like gratuitous <laughs> and promote social diversity and we want to act against the isolation of vulnerable people especially the elderly or migrants my people who they they just stay at home they don't speak french they they become really isolated. Migrant people for the like the first year when they arrive in France, they're not even allowed to work. So they basically just can't do anything. And they often have amazing skills, you know? So we want to tell them to participate in the workshops and then they will be able to share their knowledge in an international arts, intergenerational and inter intercultural way <laughs> that was really hard to say um but yeah that's something that's really close to my heart especially for elderly people i mean they have all this knowledge and we really need to learn how to repair and create from secondhand items it's just so important okay so let's move on to today's business what i want to do i put it here uh, if you've seen my previous videos, especially for the drink journals with um, like the C items I've made, this uh, this is a paper clip, and I use it as a bookmark. And you can put it pretty much anywhere. These are little beads. This is a tassel with stuff like this. This will be. Uh, I don't know how to call it. Maybe like a dangle. Thing with like loads of beads of different shapes and sizes you can put this on your keys on your bag anywhere this is a big long boho bead like I've made in my drink journals on the sea and I've attached these to the spine of my drink journals and I think it looks just fabulous so I was thinking of making this and this is half a boho bead and half a tassel so it's smaller tassel smaller boho bead all together and that's what we're going to do today and i thought of different themes so we have here four themes so we have love passion here and we have the beads with like little hearts and lots of pinks a bit of red and some silver then we have asian sunrise so like all very orange yellow combinations and i love this one so cute and some yellow beads and reds and I've got a little elephant as well I can't wait to use this stuff and some Asian beads here as well and then we have here you pro if you've seen my videos you probably know this is under the sea with sea items and blues and lots of different beads uh, oh look what I found so cute little fishy and then we have a nature theme with like browns and greens and here we have look look I bought these in India oh actually I bought this in India too I don't know the name makes noise it's really pretty really cute and I'm gonna put this everywhere this is from Morocco I can't remember where this is from I've got so much stuff so yeah lots of leaves and such items and like woods and natural greenish this doesn't look natural i'm not sure i'm gonna use it we'll see we'll see how it looks uh, all right so let's just start i was thinking of starting with the sea 
Um, so yeah, I've started checking which ones I want. So what I've done is I've just cut to size these colors that I like. I'm going to show you what to do with that. If it's not exactly the right size, it's okay. Just put it in the middle, pretty much. Okay, so I've already put white. Next, I want to add... I love this one. I think it's just so pretty. This is yarn. I'm just going to make a knot to make sure it doesn't... I forgot the name again. Then I'm cutting it and then I'm using my lighter, your best friend, when you're doing something like this. There. And there. I'm going to do the same again. Oh yeah, so what do you guys think about my project? Do you think it's a good idea? Would you guys go to something like this? Would you would you like to participate? Would you like to like I don't know, give money or well we're gonna need a lot of money, like we have um we have found a place which was really hard. It took me like two years to find somewhere that wasn't too expensive, that was quite central. This, this is a big city, Lyon, and it's really expensive. Um, so we found this place and it's completely new. So there's like nothing. There's no... Um, sorry. There's no walls. There is no um, floor. There's no ceiling. There's nothing. So we have one, about 150 euros to find and we found a bit but you know there's still quite a bit that we need to find so it's it's a bit frustrating and we're hoping to get like lots of help from the community so if you guys are interested and I don't know would like to help out we're looking for any kind of help you could give whether it's just helping us with the website or I don't know just yeah sharing sharing around is the best way to help sharing about our project and I will put everything in the description below like all our website and everything so that you can if you want to <laughs> and yeah it's been really great having this community helping out with my uh, well because I have two projects there's this junk journaling that I've just started and then there's this other really big project that I've been working on for over two years now it's been a long time so it's really good to have you guys helping me out and giving me hope it's really nice let me see if I have uh, here, I've got two more. And I think that's going to be pretty good. I don't think that's very interesting. Let's do this one. This one is so pretty. So here we're doing the big tassel and the small tassel, the small tassel that goes with the like semi boho bead, semi tassel. I thought we'd just do them both at the same time. It's easier like that. So 
So how are you guys today? Over here it's just pouring. It's not very interesting. It's not very nice weather either. I hope it gets better soon. We haven't really had a summer yet. Well, we've had really hot temperatures, but we haven't had too much sun. It's a bit sad. Okay, I'm just gonna press the... Oh, actually, I'm almost done. Let me just finish this. And I'm doing a little knot because it helps the yarn to just stay, not move too much. Okay. I thought we might add just a little bit of lace. Makes it look a little bit more vintage. Makes it look nice. All right, so the way we do this, we're just gonna grab some thread and I use the same thread I used to uh, bind my junk journals. It's quite thick. Doesn't need to be too thick. Just use whatever you have. I'm just gonna get the middle. Okay, and next, let's just go in the middle and we're just gonna go around a couple of times, like so. Just make sure Yep, this is not the middle exactly, so I'm just going to go a bit on this side. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go around a couple of times and attach it. Just a simple knot, just do it twice. Here you have two options. One is just to, I like this little ball, you know, you have over here. So either you think this is enough and you just attach it over here, or you think it's not enough and you can just add a bead over here. You know, you pass uh, through this thread and you attach it there. And then you just engulf it and then you just attach around. So it's whichever you prefer, really. There is no right, there is no wrong. Whichever you prefer. Me, I think that um, we don't really need it, the bead. It's looking pretty great like this. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more thread and we're going to go around and I'm just going to make sure that I get the stuff I want at the top here and then I'm just going to go around over here. To make it look pretty, you can just put something else other than this thread. You could use anything. You can put some lace, you can put some yarn, cloth. You could even put like a string of beads. But I don't think it's that visible. So I'm just gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna cut the extra from the other threads we have. Over here. All right, so that's the long one done. And what you can do next is just cut off the excess. Um, yeah, like 
here, I guess. It's just a bit too long. Same here. Don't forget for your plastic threads of your plastic things to just do this so it doesn't fray. Okay, so that's done. Next one is the small one. So it's exactly the same process. Let's just get the middle of all this stuff. And I love using different textures and different colors. I think it just makes it look even better. Okay, let's get the middle. I'm going over like three times, some uh, four, four times. And then I'm doing a double knot. And again, I think this is pretty good. So I'm just gonna remove these. And get a thread. This is gonna be too small. Here. Mm, I like this side. There's a lot going on on this side here. There. And we just go around again exactly the same way. Two, three, four, and we're just gonna close it up. And you know, you can even put beads. Well, honestly, you can just add anything you want. Like, if you want to add some little beads, you could put them them on these. You know, you just pass the beads and make a knot. Or you can put a thread with beads. Just basically anything you want. The sky's the limit. Just go crazy. <laughs> I quite like these types. And what we're going to do in order to be able to attach these is going to put little... I know silver rings, yep. Yeah. So let me just get them. Okay, so these are my rings. I've got lots of different sizes. And we're gonna take a smallish size and the bigger size. We have one smallish one here. I'm here. Okay, two smallish and then two bigger and a bit thicker ones. Actually, I might get them even bigger. Mm. There, let's work with that. All right, so I have these, I've been using them. I've had them for so long. Recently, one of my friends asked me, 
what I would recommend to get. Um, I've had this one since I was like probably 10 years old. I do love working with jewelry and stuff like this. So I use it all the time, literally. Uh, I do recommend you get one that's flat like this. It's really handy. I also do recommend these, which are round and at least one that you can cut with. And I do really like having two with pretty thin ends to like grasp stuff. Because this one is really flexible, so it's quite hard to get stuff. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna open this one. So what I do, I hope you can see properly, I just grab two sides and I just open it up like this. Can you see? And then we're just gonna pass it through there. And, well, the bigger loop. I grab a nice bigger loop. And then we're just gonna grab both sides again and just close it up like this. And I just like to make sure that it's closed properly, especially the other hoop, because usually they're not very well closed and they can just be removed. All right, so that's one done. Let's do the second one. Here we go, guys. Oh, geez, sorry. I'm so stupid. Um, <laughs> this is not supposed to end like this because we're gonna put the. Uh, let me just remove the big one. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. I completely forgot. Okay. Sometimes something I like to do is to add, let me see if I can find it, this on top over here. But here I didn't think that was necessary because, you know, it looks quite nice over here. So I use this usually to hide my thread uh, when I don't have like the good color or something. And in this case, I just didn't really think it was necessary. So I didn't do it, but we can do it for other ones. Uh, what you have to do though, is think about it before, because you're gonna need something to attach it. So sometimes it's just nice not to use it. <laughs> okay, let's continue working. Um, this is a pretty big thing. I think maybe we could do that one and I do want to use maybe something like this. I like to use lots of different kinds of beads as well. Like a bit of white. Let me get some white. 
This is it uh, all done so as mentioned there's uh, five different types four different themes so one is a bit kind of pink passion uh, love and stuff this one is more under the sea with blues this one is like an Asian sunrise and this one is nature so here we have the tassel and the half and half boho bead and tassel with nice little charms this is the entire boho bead i still don't know what to call these <laughs> and we have here the little dangling thing to put wherever you want on your keys and stuff and this will be a book page bookmark uh, i'm probably gonna change this put a smaller one this is really to show you uh, but it's not very useful in a book. It's just a bit too big to be honest So I'm just gonna put like a regular big sized one, which is approximately this size here Which is what I use on my own books then we have nature with the tassel The half and half Then we have the boho bead dangly thing. I really like it with this. Let me know what you think about this. I'm pretty... I don't know what to think about the... the, the um, this thing I've used here compared to the other ones. Which one you prefer? And then we have the Asian style with some Chinese beads. A little bit. Uh, of course um, if I get more orders, like if there is a lot of counterparts to sell, you might, and you want to get some, you might not get these specific ones. This is not, um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna make more if, if it's popular and people like these, I'm gonna have to make more of them. And then this is the blue one. With lots of shells everywhere and like blues. This is a half and half, another shell. And then we have here the dangly thing, sorry. Makes noise. Uh, so if you guys want to help my project, I would really, really appreciate it. We do need to collect a lot of money. Uh, to make it work and I'm really hoping you guys like the project so if you do don't forget to share around you um, let me know if you want to help and don't forget to just comment like and subscribe if you like what I do and share this project it would mean the world to me thank you so much guys guys and I will see you guys and I will see you in the next video Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.